views and opinions on this show are for entertainment purposes only. The only factual information is any story that has happened to AT2 are the parties involved. Other than that, go ahead and get you a drink, get you something to eat. Just relax and enjoy the show. Let's have fun. All right, y'all, let's get real. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Talk the Real Deal with AT2. And you know I'm your boy AT2. What's up? How everybody doing? How everybody living? How everybody feeling? What's up, everybody? Thank you for being here right now. Make sure y'all hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Anyway, let's go ahead and say what's up to the people. What's up, Miss Ree? Shout out to you. What's up, Wendy Lucas? Uh, Wendy, you should see something next to your name, um, by the way. You know, like a little tool or like a wrench. Uh, <laughs> um, people lie. Some are curious. Chastity, we gonna talk about that. We gonna dive into that. What's up, Raz? Good morning. It's morning, and we slept the night away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. What's up, Brandis? What's up, Don? Um, what's up, D? What's up, Shannon? Shout out to everybody on Facebook. Do we got anybody on Twitch? We are filming on Twitch right now, too, as well. Shout out to Shell, my other moderator. Shout out to my moderator. Shout out to my members. Uh, shout out to everybody. I started the show a little early, so, you know, I could um, kind of talk to y'all a little bit, you know, kill a little time. What's up, Nikki? What's up, Southern Bell? What's up, Mimi? What's up, V? What's up, Queen B? Uh, shout out to everybody, everybody, everybody. All right. So um, before I get into it, I know some of y'all know I've been streaming the whole uh, Johnny Depp um, and Amber Heard case. I'm not going to do it every day. And the reason why I'm not going to do it every day is because it hasn't been lucrative enough as far as like views, money, stuff like that. You know, and I'm just being honest as a businessman where I could do like 30 lives in the amount of time that that whole case takes up because that case starts at seven o'clock my time all the way to two o'clock. That's basically my whole morning gone and I can't do anything else. So um, it hasn't really been that lucrative. So I'll start doing recaps of it instead of streaming that whole thing live. But that's a different uh, different topic for a different day. We here to talk about Benzino and Shauna Brooks. Uh, what's going going on with them? So as you guys know, uh, Shauna Brooks had released some audio of them talking on the phone. That's another thing too. The whole recording thing had released some conversations of them talking on the phone. Um, in the clips, it now I didn't hear Benzino say anything about. Um, I didn't. I didn't hear him say like, oh, we messed around or we're together. It sounds like he was almost praising her. He was, he, he, he did seem intrigued. I will say that he did definitely seem intrigued. Um, you know, he talked about her being beautiful. Um, you know, her, her as a woman, it's okay for him to, I mean, her as a woman, you know, it just looks like, um, and I'm paraphrasing what he said, but her as a woman, it just looks like she, um, she, you know, going after another, uh, uh, you know, dating another man. But for him, it's that he's messing with another trans woman or he's messing with a trans woman. So it's not looking good for it's not going to look good on him, especially, uh, you know, him being in hip hop, you know, in the urban world culture and stuff like that. It's not going to look good for him. And those are just a few of the things that I heard. So Shauna decides to come out with these tapes and stuff like that. Uh, the recordings, because she felt that she was tired of living a lie and she's tired of men liking um, trans women in private. 
uh, him per purely selfish and she was nothing to lose, a lot to gain, uh, but she wants acceptance as a woman in the shame uh, men who like her. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, when you when you start out your relationship as a secret, right? If you start it out as a secret or something taboo, something that's not supposed to get out, something that is, uh, you know, is wrong. When you start your relationship out like that, you can't then say, oh, it's my, op you know, I'm tired of this and I want everybody to know about this. Because basically you took it away from this man to be all like, hey, I'm attracted to this woman because, you know, Benzino said they never met. So even if he was attracted to her or whatnot, they never met and they never had a transaction. You know, you see it down there. They never had a transaction. You know, um, it was like a lot of talking on the phone and stuff like that. And my thing is, like, if this man was confessing, like, the way he felt and, like, he actually was attracted to trans women, you basically ruined that whole experience for him because now he's going to be like, well, damn, I felt like I could open up to you and I can't, I then you turn this around and now this is a big thing, you know? The secret? <laughs> Wendy, I'm mad at you. Uh, but yeah, um, you, you outed him and now it's not looking good. And this is what, what I was talking about. If you guys see in the thumbnail, um, the Sydney star effect, you know, this is the Sydney star. effect. now I got done, got the damn, uh, graphics and everything. And I didn't put them up Sydney star effect. So I'm going to take you back to when I was in high school. So when I was in high school, um, Sydney star was like the first, trans woman and hip hop and stuff like that and you know she was allegedly tied to Chingy and they said Sydney Star is the reason why Chingy, Chingy career went down the toilet. I think Chingy was only supposed to have a couple of hits I don't think he was supposed to have longevity in his career. Y'all remember Chingy you know we like the few, I like the way you do it right there, you know we, we like that song but I can't tell you another Chingy song you know off the top of my dome I gotta think about it but you know she had let that lie um, keep going and it basically uh, ruined this man's career, allegedly, you know, it ruined his career because she let that go and she didn't clarify like, no, nah, we just took a picture and she even said they just took a picture. But then <sighs> damn it, I done knocked over my damn cup. Hold on, y'all. But yeah, um, what you gonna call it? You know, he was all like, we just took a picture. That was it. You know, I just seen um, because, you know, Sydney Starr, you, she she is the, what we see. We see uh, appearance of a woman. He's not all like, oh, let me feel on you and make sure that, you know, you was born. He's not doing that. He just seen a woman. He was all like, OK, I'm going to take a picture with you. Or maybe she did say, oh, I'm trans. Can we take a picture? But the thing is, is that you saying that this man y'all had relations and stuff like that and completely destroyed his career, you know? Thank you, Shell, for saying that. No one should um, out anybody, not uh, no one's business to do so. Exactly. Yeah, his career never recovered from that. And so then we fast forward to, was it this year or was it in December, you guys? It was, I believe it was this year with the whole, um, yeah, with the whole Darius McRae. Remember Darius McRae from Family Matters? Um, they had shot like a movie or like a TV show together. And then Sydney had decided to post pictures of them kissing, her grinding on him and stuff like that. And so like, Sydney, you ain't learned from destroying somebody else's career and you do it again. Remember, I even reported on the story. I should have put this as the trailer instead, but I reported on the story. She had put videos of them kissing and grinding on each other. And it's all like, yo, you are trying to in this. And mind you, Darius McRae is married. And so you putting this information out, you putting this stuff out there, trying to out this man and try to embarrass this man. And 
you know, potentially they could have had something going on. He said they were just doing a movie. Potentially they could have had something going on, but that's his choice and whether or not he was going to be the one to put that out there. And then Sydney, of course, went on interviews and then she backtracked and everything like that and said, oh, no, you know, it's not like that. We're just friends. We're good friends and stuff. Well, you ain't going to be friends no more because definitely nobody can trust you. No one can trust you. And with the Shauna and with Shauna Brooks, it seems that she's on that same trajectory of basically, oh, I'm going to be in this culture of outing people. That's what it seems like. You know, I'm going to be in this culture of outing people. A few things about that. Like I said, if it started out as a secret, then you got to keep it a secret. If you want someone to love you for who you are and not be ashamed, then you should be with someone who loves you for who you are and not ashamed. But if you started out with, you know, I don't want to tell people or this got to be a secret or if this man is confining in you and then you go and record because what are you doing recording my phone calls? What are you doing recording my phone calls? And uh, and again, because some people are all like, oh, well, he's DL and he's living a double life. I don't know the exact definition, but as I understand, like if he's living a double life, he would have to have a woman, uh, you know, he would have to be, he would have to be in a relationship. He's not with his baby mama, um, Althea anymore. He's not with her. So he's not living it. I, I don't think he's attached to any woman right now. Now, if he was attached to an, a woman, well, that's still nobody's business. That's between him and his woman. And she should tell the woman directly. But, you know, he's not with anybody. So it's not like, oh, he needed to be outed because he's been doing this and messing with women and not telling them this and that. He's not with anybody right now. So it doesn't matter what's going on with him. And especially if he's like just talking to her, not even they have never even met, you know, according to his tweet, they never even met. Uh, I forgot to pull up his tweet real quick. But let me read this question. Um, but I have a question. I outed someone accidentally, a man who wanted to be a woman, uh, went into the girl's bathroom with uh, my grandbaby. Sorry, with uh, them having a man's part in the bathroom uh, with my 10 year old. Ooh, ooh, we going to save the bathroom thing, but I'll. I can kind of I can bring up a scenario now. No, because that's a completely different scenario because that was at work and that was a completely different thing. Now, here, here's the only thing about it. Like, did you know for a fact or was it because here's the thing. Here's where it gets to a slippery slope. A couple of things. Because you uh, you out someone and then that can be a snowball effect of a few different things. And then on top of that. It could have been a, a strong face woman, you know, it, it could have been something to where like, oh, maybe you looked at like, you know, it, 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 it's a it, it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. Uh, Benzino said, uh, this is the movie that me and Shauna Brooks, and he posted the movie down below. Uh, this is the movie that me and Shauna Brooks played in. Uh, though we, uh, though we never did scenes together, the director gave my number to Shauna, uh, because she wanted to rent out a crab trap, uh, for an event. I had a couple of conversations and still to this day, uh, we never met in person. So he he confirmed right there that they never actually met in person. Uh, Benzino face turned the hell out of uh, his profile pic, pic. He barely looks like a turtle in that. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, that's why Shauna is trying to collect nut. Wait, wait, what what nut? Um. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go on with what I was saying. So they never met with each other, right? 
Um, if you're sleeping with someone and they do uh, do you dirty, uh, you have the right to kiss and tell. No one is exempt. What do you think, AT2? But what is doing you dirty, though? Like, are you saying that he did Shauna dirty? Because they never, they never slept with each other. Or is it just a scenario? Or, or you mean like kind of just a scenario? I would say this. Um, if, if you caught, if you caught, you know, your significant other or whatever, um, cheating on you and they happen to be, and they cheat on you and, you know, you felt hurt or whatever, and you end up telling, you know, that's on you because I can't tell you if you're in that situation and you all like, oh, you over here. So I, I can't tell you what to do. But if you mean like if, you know, a man is with a trans woman and then the trans woman is hurt by what happened, then is it her right to out him and stuff like that? It's it's a slippery slope. I Again, that kind of goes back to what I was saying, Nikki, when I was all like, if you. If you start your relationship as a secret, then that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a secret, you know? It's going to be a secret. It's going to be a secret if it if it's like that, you know? Um, I wanted to um, kind of go into something because it's sad and this is why i put the whole stereotype thing up at the top because or in the title i should say because it's sad because you know you don't hear about you know there's actually trans politicians lawyers um doctors um it just every like trans people are like everyday people that just live their life but we only really talk about the salacious, like uh, Smooth had brought up the uh, the uh, the prison thing. You know, have you guys heard the story? Like in the New Jersey prison, um, there was a trans woman that impregnated two women and stuff like that. You know, it's a situation where, damn, we hear about the salacious stuff, but we never hear about any great things that trans people are doing we hear about the salacious stuff and it's it's really sad you know because we're not going to hear like oh a trans person was the first to accomplish something great we're talking about the whole uh you know the trans person impregnating to that impregnating two women You know, that's what we're going to talk about because that's salacious and that's what sells headlines and that's what gets the clicks and views. We'll talk about that, but we're not going to talk about great things. It kind of like, um, because this ties into the whole Shauna and Sydney thing, because they do like to out people. They do like the salacious stuff. Um, they, they do these kind of things. And it's all like, yo, when last year, 2021, was the deadliest year for trans people. 20, uh, 2021, last year, was the deadliest year for trans people, you know? And it's like stuff where you could be bringing awareness. Instead, you want to out people and act a fool. You know, it's sad. I think... Um, and I think there's still a negative con connotation in general with just gay. There's still a negative connotation with that. And so when you throw in, you know, trans, it even more gets everybody in an uproar and everything like that. I'll give you an example. So doing this sector of like the celebrity gossip and stuff like that, um, it's mostly women and gay men. You know, me being a straight man and then, you know, other straight men, they're, they're always going to be all like, throw the whole, oh, you're gay. They're always going to throw that out there, either from women or gay men. And it's quite hypocritical 
when you hear that from gay men trying remember there was that one youtuber and i'm not going to mention his name that said i had a grinder account and like posted this and created this whole fake grinder account and shit like that it, thank you shell for the two dollars i appreciate that and yeah and again we love everybody here so i don't want anybody to feel segregated or anything like that we're having an open discussion open conversation you know um they had created this fake grinder account and said I was doing this and I was living a double life and stuff like that. And <laughs> I laughed at it. It was funny. And, but it is real sad because like, it's all like, damn, people say some of the most horrendous things about you, you know, using all the slurs and, you know, in all the things about you, you would think that you wouldn't do it to someone else. And so I kind of look like that and I'll be like, damn, like, and trust me, it doesn't offend me. I understand. Let me be honest about something. Uh, put your kids to bed. I'm going to give you all 30 seconds before I say this. All right. Put your kids to bed. 30 seconds before I say this. All right, the kids are bad. You only care about that if you want to sleep with somebody or you're intrigued. You only work. The kids just woke up. <laughs> Tell them to step out the room, then. Um, you only worry about that when you're intrigued. And I get it because, you know, AT2 has a, pers a funny personality and he also got this fat tongue. Ah, you know, I got this fat tongue and you want to be licked and sucked all over your body. So I get it. That's why you're intrigued by AT2, because you want me to use this tongue and lick you all over your body. So that's the whole intrigued and stuff like that. But it's really. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do, we we being honest, we having an open conversation. You only care about that because you want to know, can I lick and suck you all over your body? That's what you want to know at the end of the day. That's why you're curious about all that stuff. But um, <laughs> I'll just read y'all comments real quick. Th that's the only reason because you're intrigued by that. That that's what you want to know. What did Mim say? Um, I work in corporate America and I haven't met a trans vice president. Uh, he is well respected and I mind the business that pays me and let people live their lives, except on YouTube. AT2, <laughs> right? I ever uh, see your chest hair or tongue again. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> <laughs> You're intrigued because you want some AT2. I totally get it. Um, but this goes back to what I was saying. Basically, G-A-Y is still looked at with a negative connotation. It's not looked at as something positive. And when you have gay people perpetuating that gay is wrong, it's not right, then it's always going to be this big thing going on. Um, for example, uh, a comparison that I can draw, Candace Owens. Y'all know who Candace Owens is, right? Candace Owens. I don't like Candace Owens. Specifically, if you are Black, Candace Owens is Black, you know. She is Black, right? She is going in crowds of a large audience of white people saying that Black people are murderous. If you are going to a large white audience that already has their own perception that's negative about black people and you are saying that black people are murderous, then they are always going to have that perception of black people. So if there are gay content creators that are putting a negative connotation on the word gay, then there will always be a negative 
connotation with it if you're perpetuating that yourself. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Because that shit's deep. Put a one in the chat if you guys understand and y'all hear what I'm saying. So going back to um, what I wanted to say, but yeah, it gives that negative connotation. So I, and here's the thing is, do I believe that Shauna and Benzino hooked up? No, I don't believe that. And the reason why is because now that we know that she was so willing to put tapes out of uh, recording their conversations and stuff like that. And she went ahead and put that out. Um, I know if they actually did hook up and they did smash and make sure you guys hit that like button. Thank you, moderators. I appreciate that. Hit that like button, you know, donate to the cash app, PayPal, Bitmo, and stuff like that. But if they um, did have a transaction, if they did, you know, do the do, she would have video, a picture, Snapchat, something to where it would be incriminating in him. But I believe it was a situation where he was admiring her and he was talking about, you know, maybe he does have an attraction for trans women and she took that and ran with it. That's what I think that happened. And it shouldn't have been done like that. And especially, like I said, 2021 was the deadliest year for trans women. And so it, knowing that, what is something now happens? I'm not saying that I want anything to happen. I just want to clarify that. What if something happens, you know? What if something happens now? Because we always hear, you know, that story of like, oh, well, she got what she was getting because she tricked that man into thinking that she was a, bi a biological woman biological woman or something like to that effect assist a cisgender woman like this is this is the reason why you know she got what she deserved or whatever but it, it's so complicated and you can think of it so many different ways it, it, it it's a lot y'all it's a lot and it's deep and to have somebody with that platform not that i don't think Shauna would be considered definitely not an A-list, B-list, C-list. More like I would say <laughs> Shauna Brooks is probably on the Z-list. But someone who has like a platform, you putting yourself out there and you are known for outing people, it's not a good look, you know? Um, T.S. Madison, you know, I talk about how T.S. Madison and Kaya, if they would have stayed together, they would have been ruling YouTube. It would have been shut down with uh maddie she she did come from the the uh whatchamacallit um how because i'm trying to say it without saying the words she was a lady of the night she was a working girl at night you know she was a working girl at night but she totally took that turned it into a business flipped it and now you see her in movies tv she got a show on fox soul we were just talking about that with the whole tasha k thing she got a show on fox soul she really flipped that and created a business and you got to ask Shauna, like, OK, what is your goal? Like, uh, do, did you think that this because honestly, we don't care about a damn Benzino. This is the most interesting thing. No, actually, when he was in the hotel with that man. Now, that that's a whole different story. But when he was in the hotel with that man, you know, we were talking about that. But Benzino, like what that, that was not you out in Benzino wasn't going to help your career at all. You just look ridiculous doing that. You look ridiculous. That wasn't going to help your career. That wasn't going to get you to the next level. Um, if you want to put in the work, then you grind and you work hard. That's what you do. You grind and you work hard and you create your own platform and you get yourself out there. You get yourself known. Yes, of course, you're going to have obstacles and stuff like that, obviously. But create your own platform at least use this to get you to the next level but if you're just using this just to be salacious and just to be a story if you want to be sydney star then just say that 
That's what I got to say. If you want to be Sydney Star, if you want to act a goddamn fool and just be outing people and then trying to get in stories and be in the headlines and the blogs, then you just do that. You know? But, but please don't do this shit again because it can either turn out ugly or it can turn out ugly. I don't think there's a situation where, you know, this is going to turn out good or well for you at all. It's going to either turn out ugly or it's going to turn out ugly. No in between, no other way. It's just going to be an ugly ass situation either way. So y'all, that's all I got to say. I appreciate everybody in the comments. It was a very respectful conversation and I appreciate everybody being open and honest. So I'll probably look at the comments after this video. So go ahead and comment if you have anything to say because it is a larger conversation to have. And um, I definitely, the reason why I didn't want to drop the link is because I feel that it's only fair to have a trans person on here talking. So it would be dishonest if we just always just up here just talking shit and stuff like that. So um, I think the conversation does need to happen, but it needs to at least have all parties involved to have that conversation. So that's why I didn't want to drop the link or anything like that. But I love and appreciate every single one of y'all. Make sure you hit the like, make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. I love y'all. We out of here. Deuces.